a lot of people claim to find a strange energy surrounding Mount Shasta. I have yet to find it. Yeah, I mean, I won't lie. This is this is a brutal climb. I feel like I could go to sleep right here. When people generally summit Mount Shasta, they typically do it as a two-day event, camping halfway in between. In April of most years, people are also able to ski straight from the parking lot up to the summit and all the way back down. But not this year. Good. We're switching to skis finally. Because we started so early, I don't have that many clips of the morning. So we are at Helen Lake. I feel a little, a little nauseous. <laughs> we are encountering some gnarly rock fall right now. It was around this point where altitude was really starting to affect me. And my slow pace was really putting the summit at risk. Got lucky with this drip. Things I've figured out today. Why people camp at Helen Lake instead of doing a one-day push. And Ozzy is a goddamn savage. Ozzy is a beast, dude. Ozzy is a goddamn savage. <laughs> Look at this guy. Fun aside, we knew that we didn't have that much time to summit and then get down before dark. I actually feel like I could go to sleep right here. I've never felt like this. Absolutely exhausted. Our last obstacle. We need to still get up there. And the sun goes down at like 7.40. Trying to book this. Mount Dumbass Shasta. I am so over you, but that was fun. It's about 5.30 and we need to beat the sun. It was about two hours, so we're kind of hauling. All right, got to the board. Ozzy's way down there. I gotta get to horse camp fast. Sun's about to go down, let's roll. You can probably tell by the way I look, but I didn't even, I don't even know what's going on with my boots. The mountain will humble you. I learned a lot today. One thing I never will do again, I don't think, is wear snowboarding soft boots with crampons because you can't front point. It's just not efficient. I don't think I would have summited it if it wasn't for Ozzy. What made this ascent very difficult for a skier or a splitboarder is because of this. Up until horse camp, I switched to skis. After that, finally, so that was about two miles. And then we kind of went a janky way. So I had to take them off. I had to carry them over a ton of rocks. It was exhausting. And now, as you see, they're on my back. So you can't get all the way to the trailhead, unfortunately. Most lessons are learned, some are just forgotten, was a quote that was ringing through my head as I made it to my car that night. I had learned the lesson of how bad altitude affects me on the JMT, but apparently had forgotten it. Because I'm striving to be a all-around great mountain athlete, this is definitely a lesson I can't forget again and something that was a great reminder.